Algebraic Equations Velocity Many relationships in science can be described by simple algebraic expressions having the form A equals B divided by C. A, B, and C can represent either constants or variables, and if you know two of those quantities, you can use that information to calculate the third. In this case, simply rearranging the equation gives you B equals A times C, and C equals B divided by A. Let's look at the equation for velocity, V, as an example of this type of equation. By definition, velocity is distance, D, divided by time, T. Think of your speedometer reading miles per hour. Miles is a distance, an hour is a time. In the international system of units, velocity is typically given in meters per second, or maybe kilometers per second. All of these are distance divided by time. If you write the equation using only the units, it is easier to see the relationships. Velocity, meters per second, equals distance, meters, divided by time, seconds. Even if you can't remember the exact formula for what you're trying to solve for, you can still figure out the correct mathematical relationship by looking at the units. Suppose you want to calculate the time it takes for light to get from the sun to the earth, but you've forgotten the equation. Well, you know the velocity is the speed of light, which you can look up, and is 3 times 10 to the 5 kilometers per second. The distance of one astronomical unit, the distance from Earth to the Sun, you can also look up and is 1.5 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. Because you're solving for time, you want to end up with seconds as the units of your answer. Both distance and velocity have kilometers in the numerator, so we don't want to multiply them. We want to divide these two variables so that kilometers cancel and we end up with seconds. But how do you decide if velocity is divided by distance, or distance divided by velocity. Note that velocity has seconds in the denominator. The only way to end up with seconds in the numerator, where they belong for your answer to be in units of time, is to make sure that the velocity variable goes in the denominator. In this example, light from the sun travels one astronomical unit or 1.5 times 10 to the 8 kilometers at a speed of 3 times 10 to the 5 kilometers per second. So the time it takes for the light from the sun to reach the Earth is 500 seconds, or just over 8 minutes.